Hey Leo, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for May 12th to 13th of 2022. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Leo. What's going on with my Leos in the next 48 hours, Spirit? What does Leo need to know for May 12th to the 13th of 2022? Leo. I feel like you have a very soothing voice or you're listening to someone with a very soothing voice it, like sings or lulls you to sleep. I'm getting like a lullaby. Someone has a really like, what's that? Per is it Jigglypuff where she can like sing you to sleep? That's what I'm getting. <laughs> Ant cooperation, ferret observant, boar ferocity, and newt urgency. Okay, okay, yeah, something's happening now. It says the next 48, but it's happening now, like urgent. I feel like, ooh, okay, let's get into the tarot. For Leo. 48 hours for Leo. May 12th to the 13th of 2022 for Leo. Next 48 hours for Leo. Oh, shit. I feel like this is like an emergency. All right, we have the Three of Cups. Yeah, cooperation. Uh, that's what I was feeling like a group of people coming together. It's a celebration. Yeah, Three of Wands. Ten of Cups, something's happening at the last minute. You have to get everything together at the last minute. It's a get together. It's a great thing with the Three of Cups, Three of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. This is a great thing. It's a celebration. Overall energy is the strength card. There you are. I feel like you're the host. You're the one who has to pull all this together at the last second. I don't know what you're celebrating, but it's a party, a get together, family, friends, people close to you, people that you love. Clarify this for Leo. I feel like it's sudden, like all of a sudden. Clarify this for Leo. All right. I have the habit of not moving all the cards over so y'all can see. I just get so used to putting them right here. Okay. Did I cut the deck? All right, clarify. The three of cups is the king of cups. And the star card Aquarius. Okay. So you could have like, you could be celebrating someone's celebrity status or this could be a bachelor party or something. I feel like you're celebrating this king of cups. They're the star they're the of the show, center of attention. I feel like you may, um, how do I say this? Book a celebrity to perform for y'all. Yeah. I feel like you have, um, Someone who's high ranking or very talented, uh, some sort of celebrity performing. Yeah, are you in a, a water sign or an Aquarius patch things up at a party? Clarifying the three of wands is the eight of cups. Ships coming in with observant eight of cups. Eight of wands. Someone who walked away from you. It could be this king of cups. Could be a water sign, cancer, scorpio, Pisces, or an Aquarius. Someone who walked away from you is coming to your party. Is coming back around. They're going to message you or someone's going to message you unless you know ahead of time. I feel like this person literally sees you at the party or out and they text you and let you know that they see you or someone else lets you know. And it's like something's happening at the very last minute. This person that you stopped talking to is invited to this get together. It, I feel like it catches you off guard. I literally feel your heart jump or you get shocked or surprised out of nowhere. It's a good feeling, but at the same time, you're like, oh my God, I hate this. I hate when they creep up on me. I hate when they sneak up on me. I hate when this happens. Clarifying the Ten of Cups is the King of Pentacles. It could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like this Earth sign is like a father figure or something. This is the person who invited the water sign. This Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, invited this water sign. Because I feel like the King of Pentacles is a family member or friend. And this King of Cups is an ex or somebody that they want you to be with. Yeah, you're going to patch things up with the with this water sign. It's going to be a different sign for everyone. I said it's going to be <laughs> Italian. They could be Italian. But um, it could be a different sign for everyone. Yeah, Two of Wands. Some of you are choosing between this water sign or earth sign. Overall energy is the Three of Cups. Yes. It's a reunion, a celebration. So someone who walked away from you or you could have walked away from them, they're coming back. I, I'm getting that they walked away from you. They're coming back around or the water sign did. 
but this this earth sign maybe you haven't seen them in a long time either for some of you you um you got acquainted with this earth sign while the water sign wasn't around and now they're both coming back around and with the strength card and three cups you're gonna have to pull it together for this because you're having to choose between again with the two of wands the king of pentacles and the ten of cups you're having to choose between the king of pentacles and the king of cups this is wild but for some of you i'm getting that like you are really in love with this king of cups like really in love with this past person but you had to walk away or they walked away or whatever and then you moved on to the king of pentacles and you you focus on you're finally over this person then they come back and all these feelings come rushing back and it's like a lot of tension between these two this king of pentacles can feel it this king of cups can feel it yeah with the strength card you got to be strong because this is going to happen fast and it's going to take you off guard it's going to be unexpected i feel like someone's going to message you I feel like this person is going to be made aware of your presence before you're made aware of theirs. And it's going to make you feel kind of embarrassed or caught off guard. Or you don't, you feel like someone's playing a game on you or a trick on you. Maybe that's what this person used to do. Knock you off your square. Because I feel like you're out and it's like, guess who's looking at you or guess who's uh, just saw you walk by. You get a text like that and it kind of makes you a little angry or anxious at the same time. Cause it's like they always do this they always play this game they always try to act smug maybe that's why things didn't work out but with the star card here clarifying the three of cups with the king of cups clearly you two are going to heal things i feel like this person always is has to be the center of attention as well they try to get the jump on you yeah with cooperation i feel like your friends and family are cooperating with this person I do see you celebrating and getting back together with this person or it could be a friend. doesn't have to be love. But you're going to have to choose between the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups because I feel like the King of Pentacles, um, the King of Cups is cooperating with your friends. They have people backing them up while the King of Pentacles has your family on their side or you're, or you're seriously dating them. And they're with ferocity. I don't think that they're too happy. So it's like it's me or them type of energy so it's up to you but you're going to be getting messages from both of these people it's like you've been wanting to hear from this person for a long time maybe you stop thinking about them and you let them go and here they come yeah we got the nine of swords ten of pentacles the lovers is also the choice card three of pentacles nine of cups it's like you have your wish fulfillment here but then you have someone else here and it's like the seven of cups and the ten of cups yeah you're choosing between two people that you love a lot love dearly I mean, I if you want my advice at all, I would choose the King of Pentacles because I feel like this King of Cups, they're too, like, they know how you feel about them. They know they've got you. And then with the Five of Cups, you have Passes Appointments, Two of Wands, Seven of Wands, Protecting Yourself, Seven of Swords. Yeah, with this past person, this past person is too, like, they haven't changed. They just want to feel, this person is the type of person who's just really smug. They know how you feel about them and they know they can pop up on you and take you off your square. And that makes them feel like they have the jump on you or they're in control of the whole situation and you are chasing them. They always play that. They're the runner and you're the chaser. They always set the things up like that. So like they knew they were coming into town, but they didn't want you to know before they knew about you. So they met up with your friends first, talked to your friends first. So it makes you feel uncomfortable when you go out with your friends. Like everybody knew this and you feel like everyone's giggling and laughing and pointing at you. You feel like even though that's not physically happening, you just feel like this person controls the situation all the time. It's like they never allow the relationship to form organically. They always want to be in control. Or they want to they want to just be just outside your grass. It's like, ugh. I don't like the King of Cups, to be honest. But um, I feel like they're for, they used your friends to facilitate a healing, a connection with this with them. Now, this could just be like that could be for some of you. For others of you, I do feel like you can heal things with this person, but I don't I don't feel like, even though these cards are saying, you know, three of cups, clarify like the king of cups and the star card, it's saying cooperation, three of cups, healing, getting back together with this person. Doesn't mean you have to date them, but you can be friends with them. But I feel like this person is just going to walk away again. They're going to do the same thing again. I don't know. I don't trust them. I just don't, I don't get the energy from them. I don't trust them, but I'm going to leave it there. <laughs>
If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing and explain here, her Etsy link is in the description box below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.